Hello, this is uh, Jamie Shea speaking to you from NATO headquarters in, in Brussels. Uh, first of all, I'd like to wish the Kosovo uh, Centre for Security Studies a very happy and well-deserved uh, birthday. Uh, many congratulations on being already uh, 10 years old. Uh, this also, 10 years, more or less corresponds to the uh, duration of Kosovo's independence. And therefore, I'm very heartened that one of the first things that Kosovo created when it became independent, along, of course, with its courts, its parliament, its uh, political parties, all of its institutions of an independent state, one of the first things that it did was also to create a think tank. Um, and I think this was an inspired decision. Uh, the German 19th century poet Heinrich Heine once said, if they start to burn books, they will burn people next, which I know is a very extreme statement. But what he meant is that ideas, the freedom to express those ideas, the freedom to think the unthinkable, the freedom to speak truth to power, are fundamental to democracy and are fundamental to our condition as free human beings. And therefore, it's very important that Kosovo has, uh, in the shape of the Kosovo Centre for Security Studies, a truly world first class and independent think tank. Uh, which can create within Kosovo and within the region that free spirit uh, of bringing human beings together, uh, overcoming uh, barriers of any kind, uh, promoting good ideas uh, to take not just Kosovo, uh, but the region forward. Uh, and it's my firm conviction from everything that I've seen from all of my trips to Pristina that in the 10 years, uh, the centre has succeeded very well in bringing many actors, not just from Kosovo, but from the region uh, together, uh, in looking not just to the past, that's always so easy to do, and refighting the old battles from the past, but truly looking uh, to a better and brighter future. You've trained uh, many policy makers, you've educated them into the complex realities of the world in which we lived, you've formed a genuine strategic community, and you've also brought in uh, not just people like myself from NATO or from the European Union, but many other uh, friends of Kosovo uh, into this uh, broader uh, uh, dialogue. Uh, and naturally, what we need today, at a time when sometimes people believe that there is a danger of stagnation in the Western Balkans, is good ideas, not just from people here in Brussels, but from you on the ground, to take the uh, region forward. I myself uh, experienced firsthand the excellence of the Kosovo Centre for Security Studies uh, when last October I was there with some NATO colleagues, for example, the Assistant Secretary General for Public Diplomacy, Ambassador Ildam, uh, for a conference on Kosovo and the regional future, which was chaired and very much inspired by the uh, centre. And we had two excellent days with the political leaders of Kosovo and a very good dialogue on where we are and what we can do more to promote the cause of Euro-Atlantic integration. So I would very much hope that every year the Kosovo Centre could organise such a big international ra rendezvous in Pristina or maybe Pritzrin or all of the other wonderful places in Kosovo uh, to bring us all together to see what progress has been made, what more needs to be done and to energise all of our efforts to take Kosovo forward. I would also hope that over the next 10 years you could keep up the good work. There are issues like how do we deal with radicalisation in the region? How do we overcome persistent ethnic uh, divides? How do we build stronger and better institutions? What kind of role uh, can the Kosovo security forces play in broader international security uh, tasks? Uh, how also can we shape uh, a truly independent but effective uh, diplomacy and security policy uh, for Kosovo uh, as well. What is Kosovo's contribution to dealing with international challenges like terrorism? I mentioned that already, but issues like uh, cyber defense or, or new technologies. How can we also all together make sure that Russia does not continue to use uh, fake news and all kinds of information operations to sow division in the region at a time when we need it to, to bring it together on its way to Europe? So, uh, happy birthday, celebrate uncork the champagne but uh, the next day please get back to work uh, because there is still a long way to go before we have our dream of a Kosovo 
fully integrated into the Euro-Atlantic institutions and the Kosovo Centre for Security Studies has a key role to play in making that uh, happen. So congratulations, see you soon and onwards and upwards. Thank you very much.